welcome to another GCSE Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, from mrgoff.com. Today's video will be focused on Boolean logic. Boolean logic is what we use to evaluate Boolean expressions like not, and, or, and XOR. Each of these Boolean expressions has its own logic gate symbol, truth table, and Boolean expression symbol, as we'll look at shortly. Boolean logic is used to design electronic circuits that use the very logic gates that we're going to be examining. This allows electronic devices to make decisions on their own. Let's start by having a look at the Boolean knot. The knot gate accepts one input. The output is the opposite of whatever the input was. The knot logic gate is a triangle pointing in the direction the data is traveling. It's sometimes shown with a circle at the tip of the point. A truth table is a table that shows for all possible inputs to a gate what the output will be. In this case, there's only one input. So it shows that if we input a zero, the output will be one. If we input a one, the output will be zero. A Boolean expression is a text-based way of representing logic gates and logic circuits. We do it by placing an overline above the input letter that we're putting in. So if input A goes through a NOT gate, we would put an A with a line above it, like you can see here. The Boolean AND gate accepts two inputs. The output is one if both inputs are one, and it's zero in all other cases. The AND logic gate looks like a D. It's important to draw it with a very straight back so it doesn't get confused with the next gate we're going to look at. Because there are two inputs, our truth table looks a little bit more complex. That's because there are now four possible combinations that could go into the logic gate. It could be zero for input A and zero for input B, zero for input A and one for B, one and zero, or one and one. Only when both inputs are one will the output actually be one, as you can see in the truth table. The Boolean expression symbol for a Boolean AND is simply a dot. So if input A and input B go through an AND gate, it is A dot B. The Boolean OR gate also accepts two inputs. The output is one if either input is one and only zero when both inputs are zero. When you see the OR logic gate, you can see why it's so important to draw an AND gate with a straight back. It's the curved back on this OR gate that really differentiates it. If you also look, it should be pointier at the front, the modern AND gate is as well. Because there are two inputs again, we once again have the options of inputs of zero and zero, zero and one, one and zero, or one and one. The output in this case will be one unless both inputs are zero, as you can see in this truth table. The symbol to use in a Boolean expression for an OR is the plus symbol. So if input A and input B go through an OR gate, it is A plus B. The XOR, or exclusive OR gate, accepts two inputs as well. The output is one if the inputs differ and zero if they are both the same. The XOR gate looks exactly like an OR gate with a second curved line at the back of the symbol. With two inputs, we must once again consider the input combination possibilities of zero, zero, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. With an XOR gate, the output is 1 only when the two inputs differ. The Boolean expression symbol for XOR is a circle with a plus inside it. So if input A and input B go through an XOR gate, it would be A followed by a circle with a plus in it, B. Logic circuits are made up of multiple gates joined together to combine multiple inputs to make more complex outcomes. This logic circuit has three inputs and two gates to get to one output. It could be represented by the Boolean expression Q, which we use to represent the output, is equal to A or B in brackets, and the result of that combined with C in an AND gate. So A plus B in brackets dot C. Our truth table now needs to consider three different inputs. There will always be two to the n possibilities to consider where n is the number of inputs. So in this case, there are eight. 
you will notice that I have counted up in binary from 0 to 7. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, which is 2, 0, 1, 1, which is 3, 1, 0, 0, which is 4, carrying on all the way to 7. This is really important so that you don't accidentally miss out one of the combinations or repeat one of the combinations, which would cost you marks in an exam. When constructing the truth table for a logic circuit, there will be a column for the output of each individual logic gate. So the first column we create is for the output of A or B. So that's going to be one if either input A or input B is a one. Now we can look at the AND relationship between input C and our newly created column A or B. In this case, the output is one only if input C is one and inputs A or B is also one. That brings us to the end of this video on Boolean logic. The next video in this series will be on hardware, software, and the role of the operating system. In the meantime, I've been busy creating new resources at my website, www.mrgoff.com. Why not go there and try them out? Until next time, bye for now.